Hi you guys, thanks for joining. Just another quickie. This is a video of the actual footage of the uh, police officers turning up at the scene on the 7th of December 95. And uh, just watching it again. A lot of you may have seen it already, but uh, I've got to say, the driver of this lorry deserves a medal. He did well. To get that massive lorry down that small farm track, round those corners, to put the... Uh, to put the Range Rover on the back of it, you can't fault that driver's skills, can you? Not only did he do that, he did it in reverse. Right, enjoy. What started as a routine traffic patrol was about to take a very different and dramatic turn. A car has been found, a Range Rover, in the Rettenden area near Southwood and Ferris. Um, and inside there were three male bodies, all dead and all with gunshot wounds. Uh, so there's a major investigation on at the moment to try and find uh, find out what has happened, why it's happened, and, and who has done it. Um, and it's, it's quite a big thing for Essex. It's, it's very unusual for something like that to be found. Um, and we're on our way down there now. There'll obviously be a lot of forensic evidence to gather. The vehicle will, will no longer be in situ. That'll be taken away um, undercover for further forensic examination. By the time they reach the murder scene, it's already teeming with reporters and photographers anxious to find out what has happened. Which way, is the, um, which way is the vehicle going to go when it comes out of here? Probably, yeah. yeah. As far as I'm aware, it's going to Woodham, so we're going left. We want a uh, traffic car to stop to a fend off. All right. All right. Yeah. Give you a nod when it comes out. Yeah. Scenes of crime officers have already carried out an initial inspection of the vehicle and it is towed away for further tests to be carried out on it. Is it normal for them to cover the vehicle up? Yes, it is, because it will probably undergo some further forensic examination back at the, the police station. There might well be marks on the glass they might not want the press to see at this stage of proceedings. No number plates on the vehicle. Would that be because the police have taken them off? Don't know. We're, we're here today just to escort the vehicle to a nearby police station and just to make sure that nobody tampers with the vehicle and that nobody gets too close to it. But uh, it's not an everyday occurrence for a, a crime as serious as this to be discovered. Something like this would probably only happen once every few months in, in Essex. We're just interested to see if we've got any tax on it, aren't we? Only later did we discover the real reason for the tarpaulin. The bodies of the three men were still inside the car. At most murder scenes, bodies are removed separately, but in this case, the Sockos have advised that the bodies be kept in situ, 